learn oracle fusion and e business suite visit oracleerpguide.com payables to assets flow in 11 easy steps the step summary for the flow create a distribution set of asset clearing account in payables go to task manage asset categories to find out the asset clearing account first open the task and search for the asset categories for your asset book edit the asset category scroll down and view the asset clearing account make a note of it in a notepad we are going to create the distribution set for this account save and close click done then go to task manage distribution sets open it from the invoicing and payments configuration and click go to task click plus to create a new distribution set enter name description and assign the asset clearing account to the distribution set enter distribution percent as 100 and enter asset clearing account as the distribution combination sometimes the distribution percent becomes blank again enter 100 in distribution percentage save the distribution set click save and close see that it appears in the list assign the distribution set to a supplier from navigator go to suppliers in procurement from right side menu click on manage suppliers search the supplier and edit click on site tab edit and go to site assignments assign the distribution set we created in earlier step save and close Save and close again. Click done. Note the current open period for assets module. Open the navigator. Go to assets. under fixed assets the current open period will be displayed on the asset dashboard that is january 16 note that there is only one period which is current in assets mode verify and ensure that the same period is open in payables and gl go to period close in general accounting click change and select your data access set enter the fa open period in the accounting period column and click refresh verify that the general ledger payables and asset 
all three of them show that the period is open enter a payables invoice open the instance in another tab from navigator go to invoices in payables open the right side menu and click create invoice select the business unit and enter the invoice details give an invoice number enter a date that is within the open asset period that is january 16 enter invoice lines and ensure that the distribution set for asset clearing has defaulted automatically click on asset tab and enable the track as asset checkbox save the invoice it will show a warning that is okay validate the invoice and approve the invoice post the invoice to ledger and view accounting verify that the asset clearing account is debited in the invoice this is the asset clearing account we had noted in earlier steps create mass additions click done save and close the invoice that we created open the right side menu and click on create mass additions give the accounting date as the end date of the period which is open in fixed assets that is january 16 and choose the asset book submit the process note the process id open the navigator and go to scheduled processes refresh the processes and see that all the processes complete successfully click on the create mass additions report process and view the output click on null under the output name and open the pdf file see that your invoice is captured by the create mass additions process prepare mass additions go to assets click on prepare source lines from the right side menu search the source lines for your book and see that your invoice appears as a search result open the same enter the mandatory data like asset category asset key etc choose the asset category for which we had verified the asset clearing account
select an asset key see that all the mandatory information is there on the form enter depreciation expense account and the location review the page and see that the depreciation method has defaulted see the life in years etc scroll up change the queue name to post verify the details once again click save and close click done post mass additions click on ready to post select the source line and click post all see the confirmation go to monitor processes and refresh see that the post mass addition processes are running and keep refreshing until they have succeeded select the post mass additions report process and view the output verify that your source line has been captured by it and it has been converted into an asset capture the asset number into the notepad find the asset go to asset enquiry work area enter the asset number in search criteria and search for it see that the asset appears in the search results and view the details click on source lines and see the invoice number click on assignments and see the depreciation account and location The cost history will show the details about the cost and the transactions tab will show the transactions performed on the asset. Go to financial tab and view the details. Calculate depreciation. Go to assets work area. click on the depreciation box and select calculate depreciation close period confirm the same see that the depreciation was submitted and go to monitor processes refresh and see that the calculate depreciation is running and wait until it succeeds create accounting go to assets tab open the right side menu and go to create accounting select your book
and select the end date of the period in which we have created an asset. Enter a journal batch name that will help you in finding the journal in the GL. And submit the process. Note the process ID and go to monitor processes. See that the create accounting is running and wait until all the processes triggered by create accounting have succeeded. See that all the processes have succeeded. Go to Assets tab. The current period is now changed to February 16 as the January 16 period has got closed. Search the asset again. Click on Transactions tab. Select the addition transaction and click view accounting. See that the asset cost account is debited and cost clearing account is credited. Go to depreciation tab. See the depreciation amount and click on view accounting. Depreciation expense is debited and accumulated depreciation is credited. This is depreciation for one month 12,500 divided by 120. The payables to assets flow is complete. A step summary for the flow. Learn Oracle Fusion and eBusiness Suite. Visit oracleerpguide.com.